Hello everyone, this is Mr. Amon So Today I would like to talk the HKDSE sample paper Mathematics Compulsory Paper 1, Session A1 and Question 7 Please read this message as this is the fundamental concept on the video series If you don't have enough time, please pause this video Otherwise, we go to the question. Before we do the question, uh, I have you. I have to emphasize that whenever uh, I need to recall the circle properties, I will use one, two, three, four, five to recall the memory. And according to this one, two, three, four, five, I will decide uh, which properties I'm going to use regarding to circle. So if I raise a finger, then I will give myself a 9. A 9 in circle is so special if it is a standard cross distance. I always ask myself to see if there is a center or not. If there is no center, then it is no center cross distance. What do I mean standard cross distance? Now. It, any one of you may know that line joining center and midpoint of chord perpendicular to chord. And then I will ask I will say that if even then perpendicular. Make it easier for me to memorize. If even then perpendicular. Okay. As chord a center cross distance is a line joining from center and the chord. Because we can draw so many lines between a dot or a point and a line, so it is useless to talk rather than the unique one. There is a unique line between a dot and a point, which is the perpendicular distance. Why? Because if I draw a perpendicular line first, and then from this dot or point, I draw another line connecting the dot and the line. I will form a right angle triangle. And this line must longer than the perpendicular because it is a hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. So as I said, uh, I only concentrate on the shortest distance. I only concentrate uh, to the perpendicular line. All right. Let's go back to memorize the properties. If even, then perpendicular. In the words, we say even using this kind of word. Line joining center and midpoint of chord is, is even, then the result is perpendicular chord. If perpendicular, then even. Perpendicular line from center is tell you perpendicular. Then the result is biset chord. The result is biset chord. Okay, chords equal distance from center equal. That means we have a uh, equal center cross distance. Then those chords are equals. On the other way round, it's the same. If equal chords, then equal distance from center. One nine is center cross distance. Two nine is an angle. And uh, in circle, we have two special kind of angles to memorize. It is angle at the center and angle at the circumference. Angle at the center is constructed by two radii. And angle at the circumference is constructed by to cross. If you want to define what cross is, it is formed by two circumference points. AC has two circumference points at A and at C. It is always funny that to look at angle at center tries at angle at circumference because 
they all shooting from the same two points. Let's say if I am interested of the angle at the circumference C, then I must look at A and B because it will it will shoot two radii to the center to form the angle at the center. And then if these two radii they are 180 degrees by angle as center twice as angle of circumference I will have the 90 degree here because two radii they are at 180 degree so AB will become the diameter and that's why we say that angle in the semicircle and angles in the same segment we use the idea of angle at center twice angle at the circumference imagine there is a center O in here and then we will have two radii OA and OB we we'll form the angle at the center because the angle of the circumference is fatal as C then the angle at the center will be two fatal when I look at uh, angle at the center I should look at the two circumference point they are A and B and obviously it should out uh, two cross at F so if the angle at the center is two fatal then the angle at the circumference would be fatal and now we see we have a pair of angles they are equal this is angles in the same segment one is the line two is an angle and three nice form and golden uh, three nice form are golden triangle actually this is a triangle relationship they are arc chord angle if the ratio is 1 1 they can be equal at equal chord equal angles there are six of them because of the permutation if you talk about the arc length is proportion to angle remember that chord is proportional to nothing chord is proportional to nothing because arc length and angle can can strictly related to or slowly or single handedly related to angle at the center chord is not so you just remember cause is proportion to nothing then you may remember arc length is proportional to angle at the center arc length is proportional to angle at the circumference four knives can form a quadrilateral in circle we have cyclic quadrilateral for the opposite angle in a cyclic quadrilateral the sum of them is 180 degree and with this idea and the angles and the adjacent angle on a straight line we will have exterior angles of psychic quadrilateral remember if we have a psychic quadrilateral that means we have four circumference point and if I give you a quadrilateral and if you find out that uh, the opposite angle added up to be 180 degrees then it is a quadrilateral so we can prove uh, the four circumference points are concyclic the four points the four vortices the four vertices are concyclic with the opposite angle supplementary and exterior angles equal interior opposite angle why converse of angles in the same segment can help in order to prove concyclic remember each angles at the circumference will use three circumference point and in the case of angles in the same segment it, it's, it use four circumference point so whenever we see a figure similar like this and if we find a pair of angles are equals then I can say that these four points are concyclic using the converse of angles in the same segment at last this is not a graph anymore at last that means five at last we talk about tangent tangent means a line touch as a point 
on circle, and the radius and the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. For tangent properties, because we have two ninety degrees, uh, one common size, and there is another pair of sides they are equal because of radius. Then we have a congruent triangles in here. We have a pair of congruent triangle here. Uh, with the corresponding angles of congruent triangle, we know that uh, the pair of angles at the center are the same, and the angles at the intersect at the intersection or at the intersection point are the same too, and the sine are the same, or the tangents are the same because of corresponding sides of congruent triangles. All right. Okay. Uh, for the angles in an alternate segment, segment here is talking about PQ, and this segment and the tangent will form a segment tangent angle at P. On the another side, alternate means another side or another one. On the another side, if I use PQ of this segment, the two circumference point on P and Q. If I shoot two cos to R, I will form an angle at the circumference. The angle at the circumference will equals to the angle of tangent and cot. Okay, this is angles in an alternative segment. Alternate segment, sorry, angles in alternate segment. Okay, you may consider. Uh, using the converse of radius perpendicular to tangent and converse of angles in alternate segment to prove the existence of tangent. Okay, after I say a lot, it is time to do the question seven. So remember next time if you need circle properties, remember one, two, three, four, five. And use these five categories to help you to solve circle problem. Okay, let's uh, look one more thing because we are going to talk the parallel lines. So, for logic structure of parallel line would be one area proof and the other area to using properties. And in our case, we are going to use the properties corresponding angle, alternate angles, and interior angles. Okay. Uh, what we need to find is the angle BDC. BDC here. Well, as I said, if I'm interested in angle D BDC, this is uh, angles at the circumference. So I have to concentrate on point B and point C. Unfortunately, there is only one radius shooting out from C. What can we do? And one more thing you have to remember: AB is parallel to OC. As I as I lay it down for you, whenever we are parallel lines, we need to find transversal in order to use uh, the three pair uh, the three pairs of angles. So, invertibly, I connect OB. If you connect OB, then the question is very easy to solve because we have a uh, isosceles triangle in here, and the base angles must be equal. And it is not difficult to find the angle at the center is thirty eight degree. Why? Be because this is an alternate angle. Sorry, I got a typos in here. Alternate. Whenever we see Z, the letter Z or N, we will have alternate angles. So now it's time to you to tell me the final answer or tell me the the answer of angle BDC. Yes, of course. Angle at center tries angle at circumference. Okay. Uh, the solution is short. 
but the preparation is long. So I hope you can remember by this video of uh, circle properties and the parallel lines plus transversal. Transversal means a uh, line connecting two parallel lines. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you have any problems, email to me. Hopefully I can help. Goodbye and have a nice day.